Hello everyone, my name is Innovative Dan, world-renowned three-star chef. I've decided to share my culinary secrets with you on my new show, Wacky Cooking. Today, we're going to be making one of my favorite dishes, lasagna. But this won't be any ordinary lasagna. We'll be making a three-course meal lasagna. Remember, the secret to lasagna is that it's all about the layers. Right off the bat, let's get started with our meat sauce. So first, cook the ground meat in a big pan. We'll come back to that later. It's time to start the lasagna. Amass a large quantity of water in a cylindrical vessel. Add a sprinkle of salt and bring that sucker to a boil. Back to the meat. Once all the meat is brown, add as many jars of pasta as you can into the pan. Let that sit until you see it start to boil. If you see bubbles, it means that your sauce is about to explode, which means you need to seek shelter immediately. By now the water should be out of boil, so let's go ahead and add the lasagna. Bring the pot down to medium and cook that for about 8 to 12 minutes. Also, don't be an idiot. Make sure you stir the pasta. Did someone say clueless? No, that's not your cue. Get out of here. First layer, breakfast. While the meat and pasta are cooking, we're going to make half a dozen scrambled eggs. One yolk, two yolk, red yolk, blue yolk. Six cracked eggs straight from the rooster's buttocks. Simply flip the eggs every so often and break them up. Now I just want to say spoiler alert because we're about to start the third layer. Without revealing too much, let's just say we're going to have a little sausage party. I'm talking about that spicy Italian sausage that gently burns your lips as you put it in your mouth. Mwah. Slice it up and cook it on medium. And don't forget to stir the meat around unless you're trying to sabotage your masterpiece. Once the pasta is done, drain it and put it off to the side. Get yourself a nice Pyrex or metal dish with volume, because we're going to be loading this thing up to the brim. Line the base of your pan with the scrambled eggs, sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on top, and then cover that with some meat sauce. Also, I know you've probably already forgotten by now, but don't forget to flip your sausage. Believe me, the last thing you want to do is burn your sausage. Now we're going to get ready a mixture of ricotta cheese, two eggs, parmesan cheese, chopped parsley, and just a sprinkle of salt. Mix that all together and don't you dare put that in your dish yet. By now the sausage should be done cooking, so set that burner to low and let it sit. And now we're done the prep work, which means we're going to be moving into rapid fire mode. Second layer, lunch. For lunch, we're going to be having a lasagna sandwich, so I bought some cold cuts. Just line up your cold cuts neatly across the pan. On top of that, put a layer of sliced cheeses. Now grab a handful of mayonnaise and spread that across the top. Put down another layer of Mazzurlazo cheese, some meat sauce, and on top of that, put half of the ricotta cheese mixture we made earlier. Finish off your sandwich with a layer of lasagna, and I know you're new to this, but you just made a really stupid mistake. Is that my cue? No, get out of here. You can't forget to shut the burner off, or else you're going to start a fire. Again. Third layer, dinner. The piece de resistance. Lay your spicy sausage all over the pan. And then we're going to cover that with a layer of mashed potatoes. Wait, did we forget to make the mashed potatoes? Quick run to the store and get some potatoes. Chop them up, boil them for 25 minutes, and when that's done, just mash them up and add some milk and butter. Spread that yummy white stuff on top of your spicy sausage and cover that with some muzzerlu cheese, ricotta cheese blend, and meat sauce. Put down the top layer of lasagna and cover that with the last of your meat sauce and just a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. So just to recap, we've got layers on layers on layers. We've got eggs, shredded cheese, meat sauce, pasta, cold cuts, sliced cheese, mayonnaise, shredded cheese, more meat sauce, more pasta, sausage, mashed potatoes, shredded cheese, meat sauce, pasta, more meat sauce, and Parmesan cheese. 17 layers in one dish. That's more than the number of times they say, Now hug me, brother! And Drake and Josh. And now we're ready to put it in the oven. Boy, do I wish I had a clueless assistant to help me. Did someone say clueless? Clueless, Dan, you're just in time. Can you help me put this in the oven? I sure can. Is that it? Yeah, you can go now. Now we just have to wait one hour. And now we're ready to eat our lasagna. And now, let's cut open a slice and see what it looks like. 
There it is. Here's a good look at what the cross section looks like here. Kind of hard to tell what all the layers are, but let me assure you there are 17 layers in that monstrosity. And of course, the question we've all been waiting for, how does it taste? This is good, just like mom used to make. Between the spicy sausage, the 10 different cheeses in here, the mashed potatoes, I can even taste the ham lunch meat in here. Everything complements each other so well. I'm not gonna lie, this might be the best food I've ever had in my life. My name is Innovative Dan, this has been Wacky Cooking, and we'll see you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and if you want to, you can also put your favorite part of the video in the comments below.